Some people believe that to overcome any form of anxiety, that it can be a really expensive process. But in this video, I wanna show you three activities that you could certainly do at home to help you to keep your anxiety at bay. And what's beautiful about each of these things is that they are cheap or don't cost a thing for you to do at all. So let's go through these three things and uh, and hopefully by the end of it, at least one of them you will be able to do quite easily. So the first exercise is meditation. Now, I'm not gonna sit here with my eyes closed as I'm explaining this, but just sitting and allowing your brain to process whatever thoughts or problems that it's got can be a great way for you to overcome your anxiety or certainly just to calm it down on a daily basis. And what's great about this is it's a very simple exercise to do as well. Just sitting wearing very comfortable clothes in an environment that doesn't really have anything distracting going on around you, being able to just close your eyes and take in deep breaths, no more than for about 15, 20 minutes. In fact, something that I actually quite like doing is playing some meditation music in the background. I find it kind of adds a level of more, uh, more of a hypnotic trance to it. And it just makes it even easier for me to go into that meditative state. Now, this one won't be for everyone because sometimes people like to be a little bit more proactive uh, rather than just sitting around and not doing anything for the 15, 20 minutes. But this is one that I do recommend that you at least try once just because of the benefits that have been proven, um, especially if you are doing this for weeks or months. The second activity that you can do is reading a book. Now, not necessarily reading Jordan Peterson's book, uh, it just so happens that's what I'm reading at the moment, but unlike with doing a meditation, there are gonna be men who just don't wanna be sitting there in silence and then pondering on their thoughts. Instead, maybe you're someone who wants to be overwriting that inner dialogue that you've got going on in your head. And for those of you wondering what I mean by that, great example, if you ever watched the TV show Scrubs and you've got the main character, JD, who has this inner voice that kind of narrates the story of the show, I think every man or most men have that inner dialogue going on. And in fact, it's what tends to shape the limiting beliefs that they have, where that voice is telling them that they can't do this or they're a failure and so on. Now, by distracting yourself from those inner voices and not necessarily finding that you have to face those voices like in a meditation, reading a book can be a great distraction from that as well. And by reading perhaps maybe no more than about an hour a day, you can keep that inner dialogue at bay as well. Not to purposely rhyme there, but you can distract your brain from even thinking about any sort of thoughts and you can create that level of presence by having to focus on the words and letters that you're reading. So you can read literally anything. It doesn't have to be like a biography. It can be a fiction, non-fiction, whatever. Some of the great stuff that you can do if you really wanna be proactive is read stuff of content that you wanna learn about. Things that are gonna give you more conversational topics with people that you wanna to talk to. So that's just food for thought for you there. But Ultimately, reading a book can be a great way to also manage your anxiety and also keep those limiting beliefs to a much more minimal level. Activity number three is doing an exercise. And this can be great on a number of levels because not only is it gonna be a distraction from any of the anxiety that you've got or worries or limiting beliefs that you've got because you're gonna be focusing on the, uh, the pain or struggle of doing your workouts, but that release of testosterone and other positive hormones that you'll get from 
the, uh, the exercise itself are gonna be massively beneficial for your confidence. And this is also just an easy one to incorporate. <laughs> I need, I certainly need a haircut. Um, this is also just a very easy one to incorporate into you know, your day or your week. Doing a 45 minute workout in the gym or at home, absolutely fine. But by being able to just spend 45 minutes doing something as simple as press ups, squats, lunges, or using your own barbells um, is gonna just make a big impact as the weeks or months go on. And there you have it. And as you saw, these are three very easy things that anyone can do. They don't really cost any money, if anything at all, and you can do them in the comfort of your own home. Now, what I would recommend is for you to try at least one of these particular activities to help you to overcome your anxiety. Some people might prefer doing an exercise. Some people will prefer, you know, sitting and reading a book if it's going to be a distraction from their anxiety. And yeah, you will have people that would rather face the anxieties and try and learn to let them go. But whichever one of these that you do end up choosing, just know that they are going to make a big difference to your anxiety as time goes on. So give it not just a few days, but give it weeks and months, reading a book every day or just a little bit of a book every day, doing a 20 minute meditation or hell, even doing like a 45 minute exercise, you will see such a difference by the end of it. And perhaps maybe I'll even try and do um, an experiment of that on the channel. But I just know the combination of all of these things together will be hugely beneficial. But even at the very least, even if you don't have the time to do them, just do one of these. And I would love to hear in the comments below how any one of these activities uh, works for you with helping you to manage your anxiety. And before I forget, if in case you are struggling to hold yourself accountable and overcome your anxiety on your own, maybe you found doing any of these exercises a struggle to incorporate into a daily routine, then do check out my website below and I offer life coaching and integral eye movement therapy coaching as well to help you to overcome any of those issues that might be holding you back from making these positive changes. But until then, thank you so much for watching and look forward to more content that's going to help you with your anxiety.